This music is slaying me absolutely. <laughs> so terrible. Should I keep it on though? Let's see. Oh, it doesn't start right away. Too bad. Hello, Sonora. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, uh, is my audio even working? How do I even tell? Like, it's not moving around. Also, I apologize for my voice. I just woke up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, no, it should work. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I'll move to Discord in a moment. Uh, uh, I shouldn't have stayed up so late. <laughs> Beginner mistake to forget about your time and then have an alarm clock at like 6 30 in the morning. Oh, I need to think. I have like two bottles of those two liter water bottles lying around. <laughs> Also, I'm in bed, sue me. <laughs> I haven't gotten up at all yet. I just don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. Mm -mm. Alright, I am, I am installed. I will move to Discord to read Ron's messages because I don't think... Twitter is so slow, you actually have to tweet in order to say something, which is really dumb. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I am... I have moved. I have moved to Discord. Alright, quick check. Check, 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 mic check. Is it working? Yes, no. <laughs> Any reply will be considered yes. <laughs> Except, I'm not sure with emojis, actually. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> okay. It is working. Very good. Is this is the audio quality okay? Or is it kind of like crunchy phone? It has to be phone quality, right? I don't think it can get better. Oh, well. <laughs> as long as you can hear me. <laughs> it's all good. How is everyone doing this morning or evening? evening for most of you it's like yeah afternoon ish i think i don't think there's many people in the same time zone hmm sounds okay all right i'm i'm literally holding it like like a sandwich <laughs> i'm holding it like a piece of toast <laughs> i'm about to take a nibble <laughs> This is kind of the same pose I use for when I record a song or something. Because if I, if I hold it in any other way, it just sounds really far away. Kind of muffled and stuff. So, this is it. Try to flavor. I don't think I want to. Like, I, I haven't really cleaned it in like a week or so. So, I don't know what's on there. Yeah. <laughs> All my face germs and, and, and hand germs, they're all over the place. Yeah, when I, when I record a song for like Twitter or something, like during practice, I mean, then you can't just hold it like, like, a, like a phone, right? It'll just blow up people's ears, I think. Um, I haven't tried actually. Maybe something, something to try out. Yeah, it's good to be mindful of that, I think. Just to make sure you don't blow up anyone's ears. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't I haven't really licked my phone. I don't think I will ever try any any phone lickers available <laughs> to share experience. <laughs> no, no, I think I'll I think I'll stay out of that crowd. At least for a while. <laughs> Yeah, hope everyone's doing good. I, uh, I'm just chilling, really. I'm mostly just chilling. I, I've done pretty much everything I set out to do at the start. 
so I, yeah, I just kind of sit around and spend some time people watching, drinking my matcha soy lattes. <laughs> At this point, I'm turning into a regular. <laughs> I always order the same thing. Any adventures I've been on recently? Um, compared to when I spoke to you guys last time, not many. Um, I have not found a Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachinko machine. I was looking for like anything Konami themed, but I didn't see anything. It was all like current anime stuff and I, I don't really care. I don't care about Demon Slayers and Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, I did watch it, but I wouldn't really play a Pachinko game based on that. Mm. Any interesting human specimens? Honestly, the people that mostly draw my attention are Americans. <laughs> you can spot them from so far away. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, I did go to... I don't know if I said it on stream, but I went to the um, Team Labs uh, Planets thing. It's, um, it's, it's literally a white people magnet of a activity. Like... <laughs> I, I was walking there. It's it's located in the harbor area of Tokyo. I was walking there and I looked around and suddenly all I saw were white people. And I was like, oh my God, I, I am betting my, my left liver that everyone is going the same, like everyone's going to the same thing. <laughs> and I was not wrong. <laughs> it was like all the white people in like a certain radius had been summoned. It was very funny. Um, it was it was all right though. I, I would say the stories online I read about how bad it was, or how good it was, or both sides were kind of overstated. It was just all right. How come I have two livers? Because I am special. <laughs> Did I eavesdrop on anyone? Well, it's kind of hard not to if they talk in a language you understand, right? I mean, especially the Dutch people, like you just cannot stop on hearing it. So I was actually, I was queuing up and behind me were two Dutch people. Absolute coincidence. Um, and I remember they were having a discussion based on the clothes that you were supposed to wear. Because I, I did my homework on this one. I, I read that it's water-based and they have a lot of mirrors. So you have to basically don't wear long-sleeved stuff. And if you wear a skirt or something, wear something to make it not look like everyone can see your coochie. <laughs> so I came prepared with bike shorts and stuff. Um, and then I heard them talk to each other and the girl is like, oh, you're lying to me. You know, there's no water here. Like, why are you, why are you, why are you t telling me that? And uh, the guy was like, no, 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 no. I, I forgot about it, so I am also wearing the wrong clothes. And she was like, no, you're, you're gaslighting me. It's not true. <laughs> I felt so, like, I really wanted to just turn around and be like, hey, yeah, you, you guys fucked up. <laughs> but, um, no, they, had, they actually thought about it. They had modesty skirts you could borrow. But I'm not sure you want to rent something like that. Um, you never know <laughs> what you're wearing, like someone else has been using it, right? I said that's word for gaslighting. Um, do we even have a word for that? Fairly sure if someone talks about that, they just use the English word. Is there a Dutch word for gaslighting? Mm, I don't think so. But yeah, yeah, it was called a modesty skirt. Like you have, um... It's basically like bike shorts. You have like very short skirt made, like not a skirt, sorry, sh short pants made out of like cotton or something, very thin material. And you just wear it to hide, you know, like any, any funny reflections. So yeah, but I didn't have to because I came prepared. All I had to do was kind of lift up my skirt <laughs> so it wouldn't get wet, <laughs> which was a little annoying. Maybe I should have brought shorts, but too late. I already went. 
but um, it was pretty alright. I made a lot of pictures, but it's definitely something for people that are on Instagram or something. At least I I I saw everything within like an hour. I think like there was not much more to do at some point. We just walk around, make pictures of funny funny reflections and light shows and stuff. It was alright if you're into that. Mm hmm. A tracksuit. Um, only if it has three stripes, though. Otherwise, why wear one, right? Mm hmm. Gotta wear, gotta wear some something underneath. But yeah. Um. What else have I done? Oh, I did go to. I went to Ikebukuro because they have. Not only do they have a giant shopping mall, which interests me, but they also have uh, things like um, like idol performances. Mm, let me turn over. <laughs> there we go. They also have things like idol performances where you have like, it's not really a gorilla thing, but they just have people show up and do like a little routine, like a little little dance show. And I happened to catch one where there was a J-pop band. I forgot their name. I think it was Billy. Not Billy Eilish. That's what I first thought when I saw the name. I was like, oh, <laughs> didn't know she was here. <laughs> it was not the same person. Um, they were doing like a, they were about to release a single. And they did like a little performance, but I literally was waiting an hour for it to start for like a five minute thing and then just everything disappeared again it was kind of funny <laughs> but damn they can dance it was out it was absolutely playbacked because there's no way they were able to sing while doing moves like that but it doesn't really matter it's all about the show in the end it's about the complete experience mm. have i gone to the drunkard's alley are you talking about the piss one um, I have not been to Piss Alley. <laughs> I'm not sure why a place with that name or reputation somehow ended up as a tourist thing, like a must-see activity. Like, this is the peace stain that, <laughs> that you must have seen at least once in your life, right? Did I find any Hololife merch? I actually did. It took me a while to find something that wasn't sold out, but I ended up finding Marine um, at a upcharge, of course, because everything was gone. I found Sora at the normal retail price, and I found Corona also upcharged. And um, yeah, I think that's it. That's what I found. I found three of them. I was thinking of buying Xion. Uh, like the bigger figurine, but I've decided against it. I don't have that much space left anymore. I still have to buy some 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 souvenirs and some gifts, and I need space for that too. <laughs> Dyson pipe don't look. <laughs> she will gaze upon me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the same. It's piss alley. It's it's literally. I think it was known during, or it got its name from, like, the time period of Japan where, you know, things were not quite allowed. So they were doing it in the seedy little back alleys. I think that's where it originally came from. Um, but did I talk to any idols? I talked to girls from the Idly Cafe, but I'm not sure if that counts. Um, as I haven't been to, I haven't been to, like, the Chica Idol stuff yet. <laughs> I still have some time. Still have a little bit of time left. Um, I just thought, yeah, no, no, there's no thought. I just didn't go yet. <laughs> that is still on my little bucket list, I suppose. That is still there. Yeah, I understand that if you have such a, such a intense routine there's just no way that you could sing that alongside there's just no way mm. seen any wildlife besides americans um, um, that's kind of rude that's kind of rude um, <laughs> 
No, I haven't really been outside into the into the to the wilds. Um, except Oeno Park, but that doesn't quite count. They do have a zoo, but I, I kinda don't want to go to zoos or aquariums here. I've heard too many stories that they're not really well taken care of. Like you know, animals in general. The um awareness for it is just not really here. So I didn't really want to see that kind of thing. I don't want to, like, give my money to it. Mm. So I haven't seen actual wildlife like that, I don't know. <laughs> I have seen pigeons, does that count? Many pigeons. Mm. Yeah, I think it'll be very depressing, so I don't really want to, I don't really want to go there. They're very small cages and nothing to do, really, inside of them. Like, um, what did they call it? Like stimulation or something? Some kind of brain activity generator. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it. There's a word for it, a very specific word. Um, so they can sort of do a few little things that they would do in nature, you know? Enrichment type of thing. Any plans to go outside of Tokyo? No. Nope. No, I I did not really go much to Tokyo on my last trip, which is the reason why I wanted to stay here for the most part. Um, but I I don't really have I didn't buy a ticket like the um, the discount one, so I don't really have the ability to go out of Tokyo much because it's very expensive. It's very very expensive. Um, cause I did, did realize around this time of year in Kyoto, they have the, um, the Maiko dances. Um, it's where they have like a traditional kind of like a stage play, but everyone is, act everyone who acts is basically a Maiko and they do a lot of dancing and singing. And I went to the spring version of that before. It was really beautiful. So I was thinking I could go to the, um the May version of it but I just yeah it was very it was about 200 euros to go back and forth with public transport <laughs> that's a bit much right so I ended up not doing it no not Michael Jackson Michael <laughs> Guy, Keiko and Michael <laughs> yeah there's Japan Rail Pass which is what I used before but I ended up not going for that since I would only go once to, to Kyoto. And that's it. Um, maybe next time. I don't think I'll be going back anytime soon, but I'll have to save up for it first, of course. Um, but if I go again, I'll probably go to something completely different. Completely different. Kimono friends. Yeah, imagine... Imagine that, you know, the, the little animal buddies are, when they talk to you, they're not actually real. <laughs> Hokkaido sounds cool, though, but I really want to go to Kyushu. That sounds pretty, pretty cool. Although I did get jump scared by Kyushu because they had an earthquake a few days ago. And it interrupted the baseball game I was watching. So I, I was kind of like panicking a little bit when it happened. <laughs> like oh shit where's kagoshima oh no that's somewhere in the south okay no i'm i'm i'm, I'm safe <laughs> kind of recognize the name a little bit <laughs> it's funny how that works oh my cock monkeys they're, they're the, the ones that go into the onsen right they're cute they're very cute I, i'm still kind of surprised to see so many foreigners in sports here though like i saw a few a few americans uh, play baseball which i guess makes sense because they you know big thing in both countries um but i also saw quite a few foreigners doing sumo wrestling and <laughs> i'm sorry for saying this but the first thought i had with one of them was he looked italian american <laughs> It looked like you walked out of like a mafia thing. It must be the slicked back hair. 
<laughs> he does that to a guy. But he, he lost pretty much instantly. He got absolutely destroyed. He got so destroyed. <laughs> Oh, there's a good number of Japanese players in American teams now. Oh, that's kind of cute. They have some, uh, what do you call it? Pol pol polonization. <laughs> Nothing like martial arts for talking with your hands, exactly. <laughs> Tony Soprano getting into a new career. Yeah, I, w I was just a little surprised by that, but it makes sense. I did read up about how sumo works, and it takes a lot of commitment. So I kind of understand why a lot of people don't really want to bother with it. Because it's basically a lifestyle. It's not something you just walk in and out of, right? You have to literally dedicate your life to it. Um, and that's pretty, sounds pretty rough. But it's quite entertaining. I was watching it. It always airs around 5 p.m. until like, well, a little earlier, 3 p.m. until like 6. So I usually catch the last part. Supposedly it's the, um... The best one too, like all the all the high stake stuff, high tier matches, or happen around the end. They're not allowed to drive. Okay, that's made up, George. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> You're not allowed to enter if you are a sumo wrestler. American football fans in Japan. Ah. Oh. It's not made up. I don't believe it. <laughs> Cite at least three sources right there, and Wikipedia does not count. <laughs> Could they press the pedals? Probably, right? I mean, they can move their leg. <laughs> I think so. They stomp the floor all the time to get rid of evil spirits, so. <laughs> but yeah. Anything else I've done? I've been mostly, like I said, I've been mostly drawing and feeling lonely and <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit ready to go home, I think. it's. I think it's happening because I stay in the same spot all the time and you feel a little bit faster because I've been away longer before, but I didn't have the same feeling as much. Mm-hmm. But I'll definitely enjoy my last few dates, and then it sounds like I'm dying. But <laughs> I'll have fun, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home, and be on the plane for twenty hours, and be given a cheese sandwich, and cry, <laughs> as is tradition. Oh, really? You cannot drive cars? Did you edit the? George, did you edit the uh, the source? <laughs> it's okay. I'll believe you. I'll believe you. Many wrestlers are too big to fit behind a steering wheel. Have they looked at America? <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue on the car. <laughs> also, Wikipedia doesn't count. I did say that. They can't get married? Well, really? Oh my god, it sounds really strict then. Mm. America needs to take notes. Oh, don't, 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 don't make people even less able to move around. The truth of why they can't drive. It's actually because many sumo wrestlers and then it gets cut off. I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being blue balled on, on knowledge. <laughs> Shogo was a great game. I, I I wish there was a sequel or something similar to it. It was it was nice and goofy. I like goofy games. Why why play games when they're good if they can also be bad or just kind of weird? It wasn't even bad. <laughs> I should drink something, I think. Yeah. I should. Let me get up. Get up. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, where's my wife? There we go.
My son taught me mineral water from the Minami Alps. Mmm. They also like to advertise with Alps here, I see. Shogo and Fear is the same company. All right. Yeah, I did find an Easter egg for it. <laughs> that, those are some very scientific sources, George. You you would you would get in trouble if you were in school somewhere. <laughs> They're supposed to live a humbled, disciplined, pure life with full devotion to the sumo. So cars apparently are not part of. They are they are haram. <laughs> Shoko was supposed to get an expansion. Oh, they keep killing expansions in that era, don't they? Or they turn into like a completely different thing. I still remember. Was it? Wait, which game had like a um, Nintendo 64 expansion disc thingy? Well, the Amish can't drive because they're not allowed to have cars, like in general, like technology bad. I thought the Amish all like collectively agreed to live in the 1800s or something. I might, I might just not up to date on my Amish lore. <laughs> um, oh, Donkey Kong was the one. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that game a lot. Never beat it, but it was fun. Good, good. Exp um, what do you call it? Oh, good hoarding and collectathon energy. I'm very, very much a sucker for that. Are they allowed to? They're allowed to make phone calls, right? Like for emergencies or something. There was a whole TV show about Amish. That's how I learned about them. Um, I forgot the name, but it's basically like a TV show where they ask Amish to, or like the young ones, to go out and explore the world, and they see all the crazy shit that happens outside of their community, and then they're given a choice: like, do you want to stay? Or do you want to become like a, um, like a, like a English, I think they call it. But yeah, I don't know, right? That's, that's like a very, very tough decision. Do I want to become English? Of course not. But <laughs> they call everyone that's not Amish basically English, which is kind of funny. Oh, Rum Springa, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they are allowed to make a pilgrimage. Well, from someone that's not really up to date on my, on my Amish lore, it sounded really like funny, like to to have um, some kind of one time opportunity. I guess you could call it that you have to make a decision if you want to stay or you want to go. Um, sounds very extreme, but I guess that's kind of what it is. Though I'm calling it Gloria. <laughs> Do we have an Amish equivalent? Sort of. I mean. We, had, we do have a Dutch Bible Belt. It's somewhere in the middle of the country, I think. Um, but they're mostly, like, Protestant. And I was told you can recognize them by their, their very long... Uh, um, <laughs> what's, what's a... What, what's, um, what's a knee in in English? <laughs> Like very large, like big stockings that go all the way up to your knee. Kind of like garter, but the non-sexy kind. And I was told that they are very extreme, um, like old fashioned. Yeah, I think it's just a knee sock ride. I think so. They are, they are probably the closest equivalent we have. Um, as far as I know, they're a little bit on par with all the people that I basically sent to the States before, like all the, <laughs> I don't want to call them zealots, but they are definitely more extreme. And yeah, we actually have a Bible belt that's somewhere in the middle. Um, but as far as I know, it's mostly Protestant people because I definitely we don't have that in the South. <laughs> that 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 word always makes me laugh because I would definitely mispronounce that. <laughs> I, wait, isn't that underwear though? It's underwear, right? 
<laughs> that is more or less what happened, I suppose. Mm, no, there's still quite a lot of Catholics. They're just like further south, really. Um, as far, but they're not many. That's true. Like I think it's like fifteen percent at this point. Um, but the thing is, on paper, there's always going to be more than in practice because you know, once you're in the system, you have to actually write the church to be written out again. And no one bothers with that, so there's always way more on paper than in reality. Um, under where? Under here. <laughs> but yeah, it always strikes me as kind of funny, at least for like Japan, that depending on the age of someone, they have like a different religion, or at least different um, practices that they do. Oh, Bible, but okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I think I think you can kind of see a, a, some sort of weird spread that mo most Catholics are in the south and most Protestant are somewhere in the middle. I think something like that. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Maybe we all we all got booted out. <laughs> it's a generational trend thing. It could be. Could be, because I was told, or I don't know if this is true, I just read about it, um, something like when you're, when you're very young, you're more likely to be um, Shinto, and as you get older, you go towards more Buddhist values, and Christianity is kind of sprinkled in there randomly. <laughs> Oh, about religion in Japan, because it's 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 quite secular in a way. It's mostly, uh, at least you don't really notice anything from day to day life, right? But I guess you could say that for a lot of things too. Something people do in private. Hmm. Closer to the Vatican, yeah. <laughs> I bet those extra few meters really do the trick. <laughs> you can hear you can hear the Pope thank us for the flowers a little bit better. We have to cool iconic iconography like iconography. I, yeah, it's, it is a word. <laughs> I guess it has a selling point, a unique selling point. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really sure if it's true. I don't really have many people to ask that um, about. Mm hmm. Wait, people gave the Pope a copy of Undertale? Like, what? <laughs> I mean, it's a good game. I, I, I like it. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Awkward? Wait, what? Is this like a Fifty Shades convention? Oh, God. I might be able to spot my mom in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that franchise, but it really had so many moms read it. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> it's a good song. It is a good song. I like I like Undertale. I just don't like the people that play Undertale. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but it's usually I like something and then and then the freaking community has to just kill it off. Is it mom safe? I mean it's 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 not really explicit, right? It's just I don't even know. I did never read it. My mom recommended it to me, but I, I just never wanted to read it. <laughs> yeah, it was a Twilight fanfic and Twilight was a fanfic of Harry Potter, I think. So I guess people really felt inspired by each other. <laughs> Community is weird. Yeah, it is true. Like people either take it too far, too serious, or they they are so passionate about something they kind of 
almost spoil it for new people, if you know what I mean. Like they, they, you have to play a certain way, right? You have to do things a certain way. Um, and I think Undertale community is the most pushy on that. Like you have to do this, you have to do that, do this, do that. It's like, let me play, let me play, darn it. <laughs> Oh yeah, Arcturian, you're not even wrong. I actually saw quite a few grandma aged women read BL in a, in like an aisle and, and no one cared. <laughs> it's kinda of funny. You can't kill the heckin' goat mom, no. I mean I did kill her on my first playthrough because I didn't know any better. I just saw the words experience and fight and I killed everything. And then I realized I didn't have to, and then I got sad, and I had to restart. <laughs> yeah, BL. It's um, yeah, it's it's for book love. <laughs> Very specific type of book. But yeah, I saw quite a few like old ladies just read. Extreme smut. Like I saw the cover pictures, and oh, dang. Dang. <laughs> Book love. Yeah. Books also need love. They're being they're being oppressed by movies. Well, apparently they are disichado. They are actual Fujio grannies. Yeah, you know how manga is a cover picture? That's what I was talking about. It's it's it is really popular. Like I feel like every time I come here and I go to a book off or something. Also, the name of that store always makes me laugh. They have a um, a hard off, a book off. <laughs> I hope I hope they will never change their name to have it be on book on and hard. <laughs> Let's hope they will never do that. Eh? <laughs> They're very, very typical covers. Well, it's almost always two dudes spooning each other, from what I could see from my very limited research. <laughs> yeah, I love going to my local hard off, exactly. <laughs> Um, I, I, I have looked for a lot of stuff and I wasn't too lucky though with finding things. I was looking for Eroge and, you know, games with plot and I found some stuff, but not quite as much as I was hoping for. Mm. Yeah, there's, they're always spooning and they always have their, they're ne never wearing shirts. I mean, how are you going to know what the plot will be like if people are wearing outfits, right? You have to be able to gaze upon the the, the, the main plot line. <laughs> Games with plot. Um, I actually, I don't think I can carry much more. Like, I'm literally out of space, pretty much. Best I can do is play some crane games with my leftover coins, really. And maybe some some funny gacha balls, but that's it. Um, I'm I'm out of space. It's it's extremely heavy. I think I have thirty kilos on me at this point. <laughs> I could ship it, but I don't really want to. Mm, shipping is more pricey. So far, I I think I managed. I could trade Pachinko. I'll have to ask how it works, though, because I, I don't really understand it, to be honest. I don't quite understand it. <laughs> Something about playing with very small little balls, right? And then you have to take it to a different building to exchange it or something, because gambling bad. 
Maybe if I run into something I really want, I can try to squeeze it in somewhere. There's probably a tutorial on Pachinko. It's very popular. If I find the Konami, the dreaded Konami version, I, I, I kind of want to try it. <laughs> what Kaiji? Is that, is that an expert? Expert, expert? Mm. I have I have padded everything. I am using literally the most highest IQ life hack I could think of. And I have wrapped all my figurines in my <laughs> my bras. <laughs> so Marine is in her absolute element right now. <laughs> the tree shop system. Ah. Yeah, tree tree shop. Is that direction or not a direction? Right, yeah, yeah. That's DIY padding. Yeah, <laughs> might as well use what I have, right? They don't give you a lot of bubble wrap, so this is this is the best they got. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah, I'm always worried to kind of throw things around. They probably do. So I, I have I have made many layers of things and everything that looks a little fragile, like um I have a figurine from Toho. Uh it's the ghost lady. What was her name? Yo mm, I forgot her name. It's the green ghost lady with white hair. <laughs> She's very cute. Um, I found one of her figurines, so I got it. Uh, oh, it's Yomu. Yeah, 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 Yomu. I keep thinking Reimu, but that's a different person. Definitely Yomu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I got her. Um, but she has two swords, right? So they look very delicate, so I kind of had to... I had to apply a little bit extra, extra padding around everything. So I hope it survives. If it doesn't, I'll just have to kind of glue it back together. But it's alright. No, it, it, was, it, it was quite expensive, honestly. Like, I tried to go for a little bit of bargain hunting, but it was very difficult. Also, hello, good all. It was very difficult. I think my best bargain has been a card captor Sakura figurine. Uh, I got it for 2200 yen, which is like... Um, 15 bucks, I think. And I found it elsewhere for 5,000. So that was pretty good. <laughs> but I'm not trying to pay too much attention to price, more like, how, how, how likely am I to find this again? Um, but yeah, it was quite difficult to find stuff, especially Hololive, because it was just sold out or being sold for triple the price. Like there was one vendor outside, like on the street, and he was selling the stuff I saw at Donkey. It was sold out. But the stuff I saw at Donkey for 5000 he was selling for 16000 So I was like, whoa. <laughs> that's, not very, that's not very fair. Damn. Was he hoping people were desperate enough? I mean, I kind of understand. I kind of understand if you want to complete your, your, your Hollow Life waifu collection. You kind of... Just do what you have to do. But yeah, um, big price for sure. Too big. Yeah, scarcity is one hell of a drug. I mean, it makes sense. It's uh, the best way to make people more invested, really. But I'm not. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I, I am willing to wait or miss out. I have to really, really want it to justify it. If there was a Leon S. Kennedy figurine, I might have considered it. <laughs> but I didn't see anything like that. Oh, thank you, Rain. I was kind of hoping to find a bit more non-flavor of the month stuff but unfortunately for me almost everything is current current season so dr stone and 
I always forget the name, Kimetsu no Yaiba, I think. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen was there for sure. I, I looked for Naruto, but all I saw was freaking Kakashi. <laughs> a crumb of Woodman, please. A crumb. A singular crumb. <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> but yeah, video game stuff is definitely harder to find in anime. Nintendo was very hard to find. Like, I only saw plushies, really. And mostly, most of them were Kirby. I could have picked a more popular character. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I pick based on who I like, not about what other people say about them. <laughs> Wood guy from Tekken, that does not count. That doesn't count. If I would be picking up anything with the same name, I would be currently hoarding battleships, all right? <laughs> or or um what's wait who's the lady from one piece right uh, wait it's literally woodman oh <laughs> 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 it's literally called woodman <laughs> That is funny. <laughs> no, that's not what I want. I don't want to. No, that's not cute. <laughs> I mean, he has he has good energy. He kind of looks like a Deku scrub with less polygons, but hmm. I, I kind of, it's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> I take it back. He's cute. Oh, they're giving, they're, they're feeding each other with chopsticks. That's kind of adorable. Wait, how do they eat? They don't have a mouth. How do they eat? Hmm. Oh, they have different flowers on their heads. That's cute. That is very cute. <laughs> oh, I hope the sheets aren't rustling too loud, actually. Mm, come on. Sorry. <laughs> they have... They put it into their eye sockets. Oh. I mean, it is glowing, so it kind of looks like a... Um, kind of looks like a destination, right? Cheap loud sheets add to the vacation vibe. They are very loud, aren't they? <laughs> it's so warm though, I'm, I'm barely using them. It is so warm. Just a bear. Mmm, too loud. <laughs> Figured. I'm trying not to move too much. Yeah, like I said, if I find anything I really, really want, I'll pick it up. Otherwise, I will just have to accept that I am, I am full. I am full on on things. Mm, what would I really want, though? I, I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Relaxing in bed. Yeah, I like I like to wake up earlier so I can just kind of just chill for a while. I don't like being rushed. It does cut into my sleeping time, but it's better than just feeling like, oh, oh no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Get out, get out. <laughs> a cookie? Mmm... I could take something in my hand luggage because that's quite a, kind of empty at the moment. I could. 
Have I planned today's lunch cake? Not yet. I'm still looking for the jiggly one. Uh, maybe I'll have some good luck in Tokyo, like, main station. But probably today I want to go to... Was it Asakusa? I think so. I kind of want to see it. Temple and stuff. Add a little bit of culture to my um, heavily... Heavily weeb, inventicized journey. <laughs> Asakusa's comfy. I I hope so. I I saw some pictures and it looks very nice. Very big shrine in the middle. Nice little street lining up to it with stores and stuff. Yeah, it looks very cool. So I'm I still want to go there. Um. I need to get some souvenirs and thank yous. Mm, I have not been to Kinza at all, actually. I wasn't quite sure what to do. I did go to the uh, book area. And I went to the fabric area. Just to sightsee a little bit. Uh, that's where you stayed, nice. I'm staying a little bit further north uh, around Main Station. Mm. That's kind of comfy. Everything is next to you, basically. <laughs> Last time I stayed more, at least when I was in Tokyo, I stayed more around the Ueno area, which I kind of like more. It's uh, a bit quieter, and having the park nearby is kind of nice. Just chill there. It's good to just do nothing sometimes, too. Although, I kind of start to invent things to do anyway. <laughs> but yeah, for my last few days, I just want to do a little bit of culture. I have weebed out, I think. <laughs> Though I didn't get to sing, it's kind of sad. Um, like I said, I, I, tr I, I did scout a few of the karaoke bars, but they looked really seedy. I feel like karaoke bars are like the mattress stores of Japan, you know? Like when there's one at every street corner, they have no customers, and you kind of wonder how they stay in business, right? <laughs> A Twitch kimono? What what on earth is that? Did, did Twitch give out merch again that I didn't get? <laughs> Would be the first time. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure. I, 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 I could, but like I said, I haven't really found one that wasn't super seedy. Um... I, I read some re reviews too and most of them were like oh yeah they actually have a ton of hidden charges and this and this and I got a little scared <laughs> I, f I feel like it was much simpler in other places I don't know why so I'm a little hmm the one I went to last time was in Kanazawa I think <laughs> Oh no, I did go in Tokyo too, but where was that again? I think it was Ueno. Has to be Ueno. I could sing outside. If I didn't have crippling anxiety, I might be a little bit interested in doing that. Like like be, a, be like an artist on the street or something. But I'm fairly sure... I'm fairly sure I would have... You know... I, I would die. <laughs> Straight up. I would just die. <laughs> Nothing to be done about that. Mm. Karaoke be a seedy hobby. It's full of it's full of drunk salarymen. <laughs> a karaoke box is a different kind of seedy. Um. Mm. 
<laughs> Is that what they do? <laughs> you would watch me on the, on the street? Yeah, I don't, don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Kanazawa was very cute. Yeah, I loved it there. It was very nice. Very, very, um... Uh, it looked very old. It's probably my, one of my favorite places I've been, like, ever. Um, the park, especially in the middle, was so nice. I, I went through there, like, three times. <laughs> Although I did get a little bit sad because I was doing a stamp rally in Kanazawa and you just had to collect stamps from like specific areas kind of like a way to get you to visit different things and see things and I was missing one of them and I never managed to find it <laughs> so I have an incomplete picture because it's one of those things where you have like a like a sheet of paper and you press down to get a stamp and then you have like a dozen stamps and once they all come together you get like a nice picture different colors but yeah i uh, i have an unfinished one at home very sad completion rate is not not at 100 percent, and it triggers me but i'll have to live with it <laughs> i should have tried harder I should have tried more. Try, try, try again. No, no, da, 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 da. Mm, what should I have for breakfast? Cake is for lunch. Breakfast is usually nothing or toast. <laughs> Any good breakfast suggestions, guys? Anything I should definitely still eat. Mm, I'm gonna go back into the cheap sheets. Let's go. Pudding? Oh, wait. Why pudding for breakfast? That sounds really weird. <laughs> no, nah, actually, not too bad. Eggs and meat. Mmm, katsudon. Mmm, ice cream. Mmm. I could go with that or toast. Don't fix what's not broken. <laughs> or I could go with like the classic one, you know, like salmon and rice and miso. Cocos brot. The mm. you sound extremely Dutch <laughs> trying to bring that kind of stuff into a foreign country. <laughs> Honorary Dutch. Cake for lunch is perfectly normal. <laughs> Have I had much onigiri? Um, I had like one or two at most. Bagels? I have not seen a single bagel. But I'm also not really looking for like bread items really. I kind of like rice for breakfast. It's it's kind of kind of nice. I see why it's popular. Easy, easy food. Wendy's first kitchen. Oh, do they have that chain here? I didn't see one. Puffiches. Do we have puffiches? Well, <laughs> I wonder if they're more the crepe version or the actual one. Eggs and steak, very, very protein heavy. The meboshi. Well, that's the, the pickled plum, right? Mmm. Rice for breakfast is actually really, really not heavy. I really like it. The only thing I made a mistake on before my very first breakfast in Japan, I never ate rice for breakfast before, but that hotel had like a kind of like a breakfast buffet thing and I, I did not know what to do. So I just grabbed rice and mackerel. <laughs> And I got so nauseous from eating mackerel in the morning. <laughs> I had like such a dreadful breakfast. <laughs> I should not be the one in charge of combining things. Uh, 
Japanese KFC. I actually think KFC is really mid here. I had it once because I was looking for karage. And I was like, oh, KFC is kind of the same thing, but it was so bad. Hotel mackerel. Well, yeah, mackerel normally is very good. My dad often made it uh, like a sandwich out of it. You know, just mackerel on a piece of bread. It was very good. Good oils, very healthy. But to eat it for breakfast is maybe a step too far. <laughs> Ofamichiki. Mm, I've had it once, I think. Yeah, I've had it once. It's pretty good. Family Mart is definitely my top three uh, convenience stores, and I put 7 Eleven on the very bottom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just not as good. I think Family Mart number one, Lawson number two, the dirt, the worms in the dirt. <laughs> and then pause, 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 pause. Then 7 Eleven. <laughs> Yeah, miso soup. So good. Oh, good morning, HP. <laughs> I have gone to one singular Japanese train restaurant. It's, um, oh god, which one of the three was it? Um, su, 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 one of the three. <laughs> they have, like, extremely cheap foods, and you have to, Share your space with salarymen. <laughs> I, I did not know how to operate the machine because it kept refusing to be in English. It kept going back to Japanese. And is it Matsuya? Maybe Matsuya? Mm, I think it's Matsuya. Yeah. I went there, but I got kind of confused. So I was kind of clogging the line, the queue, because everyone was one, you know, it was kind of lunchtime. And a salaryman that actually spoke English just kind of popped out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, do you need some help? <laughs> so he helped me out. Oh, very nice. It was all right. It was very cheap. For, for 600 yen, getting a full meal is, is a really good price. So I would say it was pretty decent, yeah. His English was really good. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I have not had much trouble talking to people in general. I try to speak in Japanese, but I just, and maybe I cringed at myself too hard. I just switched back to English. <laughs> I, 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 maybe I got too self-conscious, but I feel like I, I just couldn't think of the words anymore. <laughs> it's something I'll have to, um, kind of get used to. Speaking is different, of course. It's different than, than reading. Oh, they have some anime collab items. Yeah, they do, Lawson. I, I got a... A kanata towel from there before <laughs> a very small towel so i think it was you know made with different purpose in mind yeah i'm gonna keep studying though i do have my n4 exam coming up soon let's go to london um i'm going to get destroyed <laughs> the grammar is quite tough but i'll try my best and if i fail or pass, the result will be the same. I have to keep going. Yeah. That's how it will be. But it's alright. As long as I don't get stabbed. Or so if they have a license, it's alright. Natural Lawson. I have not seen one of those. It's a fancy version. Oh. How do you make a fancy version of a convenience store? Do they have a better product, I guess? Yeah. Have not seen it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try my I'll try my best. 
Well, that's what it looks like. Ah, oh, natural. <laughs> uh, so far from the outside, it looks exactly the same. Better selection. Ah. Oh. Alright. I'll keep an eye out. But making everything 200% more expensive, yeah, it could be the same. I mean, that's how it goes very often here, right? Like in, in, in Europe, they make everything in the same factory and they just change the packaging, but it's the same thing. It's, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of fake. <laughs> Fresher, healthier stuff. Well, that might be worth it, though, because I feel like the food here has so much salt in it. My body just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. It's very tasty, but I don't think it's very healthy. I'm, I'm unironically looking forward to eating clean again. <laughs> All the salt. Too much salt. Oh, they have a Lawson 100, which is a cheaper version. Oh. What? What? Okay. Potassium, potassium supplements. I actually was looking around for supplements because I normally eat like a whole factory of them. Um, but I'm not really sure what to buy, so I am I am deficient probably on a lot of things right now. <laughs> Corn syrup, that's America. <laughs> if you know where to look, ah. I guess I don't I don't know where to look. Final Final Fantasy Seven remake cup noodle or candy bar. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a character. I actually like that though. I like when they add like stupid franchises to to different products. It's the same thing, but just better. I might I might pick up a multivitamin then. I usually have like half a cup worth of supplements every morning. I have too many. <laughs> Takes forever to eat them too thinking of switching to everything being a gummy but then I'll just be eating 20 gummies a day that's a bit much too it's too bad the drops are so expensive or they don't exist at all hmm oh it's eight I should probably start going for some food I'm getting a little hungry I'm getting a little hungry <laughs> you might be hearing my stomach already growl. <laughs> Wait, let me check. Does 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 it do anything? Come on, growl, stomach. Oh, it's fe it's feeling shy now. Hmm. <laughs> I actually do. I actually do look at the percentages and see if they stack up to a hundred. Hmm. Because some things like iron are kind of under underutilized in a lot of multivitamins. So you have to get more. Raw materials and lick them occasionally, like a piece of salt. Mm. Yeah, Mrs. Saltom is hungry. <laughs> I'll probably go for toast. I like toast. Japanese milk bread is a, a godsend, and I kind of want to make it at home now. I looked up how to do it. It's actually quite different from regular bread. Like, you have to make a whole, like, um, yeast mixture in advance. Mm. And, of course, you add milk and stuff. Normal bread doesn't usually have that. It's very good. Highly recommend. <laughs> toast is simple, but I'm talking about the toast. The one that looks like a brick building. It's really, really thick. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. I'm getting very hungry. Mm. 
shit. <sighs> Bye. I'm ready. <laughs> Just pop in the shower and I'm good. Yeah, on some vitamins you can actually overdose, but I know. Uh, I think it's recorded. I think. I pressed the button for it. Hi <laughs> right, everyone, I'm gonna go get some toast and some coffee, because I haven't had any yet. Coffee makes my world go round. <laughs> Thank you everyone for the morning. Wake up together. It was cute. <laughs> I'll be probably back on stream on Saturday, like next week ish. Yeah. I'll have to recover from my flight a little bit. And that's it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't think I'll be maybe another Twitter space, but no more stream because it just doesn't work. <laughs> But I'll be back home soon, and I'll be back to streaming. Ye, yeah. I'll be doing my Max Payne playthrough with no Zatsu, like I promised. <laughs> Who do we raid? Uh, I have no clue who's on right now, but um, I'm sure you guys can pick a good target. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Go go sleep, guys. It's probably very late for most of you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Hee-hee. <laughs> Bye-bye.